Hey guys, finally sleeps here. It's been a crazy week for me in real life, not in FIFA Mobile. Obviously, not in FIFA Mobile. FIFA Mobile right now is basically like the closing credits in a Marvel movie. Everyone is just twiddling their thumbs, waiting patiently. You don't want to leave because you know something important is coming. You may even get on your phone and scroll the web looking for any clue to what's up. You know, no. Still listing directors of photography and grips. Then you get back on your phone to look up what a grip even is and, well, you get it. We're all pretty bored right now. Just waiting. Patiently. Waiting. Well, while you're waiting, check out finallysleeps.com. There's a lot of things that post for everyone to see, but the best stuff is for members only, including my best sniping filters, complete breakdown for the events, and a ton of reference info like charts, math, and even investing tips. You get it. Still waiting. While we're waiting, let's look at what happened last year so we can speculate on this year. Last January, we had End of an Era, which we still haven't seen yet this year. Uh, Lunar New Year, because of the way the calendar runs, it falls at a different time every year, and because it's a major event, it kind of dictates what comes before and after. Same with Carnival, which coincides with Mardi Gras, which is all about excessive nudity, beads, copious amounts of alcohol, music parades, and glitter-covered, painted, inflated pig bladders. So obviously, I'm excited, right? Mardi Gras is the carnival celebration that ends on Fat Tuesday, the day before Ash Wednesday. Last year, Mardi Gras was on a Tuesday, February 13th. And according to my chicken scratched notes, Carnival ran from Friday the 9th through the following Friday the 16th. This year, Fat Tuesday falls on March 5th meaning Carnival will most likely start on Friday, March 1st and run through Friday the 8th. Still waiting. So, what do we do in the meantime? You've probably figured out by now how obsessed I am with being prepared. Lunar New Year ended, what, already feels like a year ago. Since then, you should have been putting your nuts back like a chipmunk on Halloween. You should be hoarding your gems. You can easily come up with 2500 weekly free-to-play, and the last thing you want to do is spend them. Don't spend them right now. I know the Champions League event is tempting, but trust me, you want to wait. And yes, I said 2500 per week, which... Sounds crazy, but it isn't. It's actually closer to 3000 a week if you're smart. Don't worry, that's going to be probably my next video. Plus, everyone should have just received a nice little consolation prize from EA for the connectivity issues that everyone's having in head-to-head. -head. Hold on to those gems and maybe put them to good use in Carnival. We won't know until the event starts. Okay, number two. I suggest you go into Carnival with a bare minimum of 5 million coins to be able to complete the quests or open packs if EA ever gets around to adding in coin packs to one of these events. Some of you listen to my advice on what I'm calling the long game and have a metric shit ton of elites and upper golds. Me too. A few of you are probably broke because you know of all these players that you've bought waiting on SBCs and the market shift. Yeah, I was too. But now's the time to make coins buying and selling silvers. Five to six million coins before Connor Ball should be pretty easy right now. It took me three days to go from 40,000 coins to 7 million. If you don't know how, watch some of my older videos on silver trading and sniping for lower level cards. It's the easiest and the quickest. Don't mess with elites. Don't mess with golds. Work through the silvers. Okay, number three. And this one is mostly my OCD kicking in. Have at least a thousand league points in your bank. You know, just in case. We saw them come into play back in December for freeze, so it's not out of the question for them to come back into play for future events. 
As a rule of thumb, I'm keeping a thousand in reserve at all times, just in case. As soon as I hit 1600, I'll buy a boost pack and then take it back down to a thousand, but that's where I keep it. That's my zero. Thousand lead points. Looks like we're still twiddling our thumbs and waiting. That's it for now. Carnival, it's coming. Make sure you're ready. When it does post, I'll run the numbers as always and put together my own free-to-play plan of attack and then post a video, hopefully on that very first day. Until then, like, subscribe, share, comment. Check out FinallySleeps.com for even more FIFA Mobile content. As always, as long as you keep watching, I'll keep making videos. <laughs>